Let's talk about configuration files. The files that come with every mod that you download. What do they do? Where do they come from? Why are they here? Well, hopefully I can answer some, maybe all, maybe none of those questions, but probably all of those questions will be answered in this video. So come on, friends, let's get to it. This is a folder containing the config files for one of my bigger server mod packs. In terms of Valheim mods, Config files are the things that control the settings within the mod that you have access to. The config files can give you any number of options, ranging from just a couple to a hundred. Each mod author has the choice to give the user access to whatever they want. Let's take a look at what one looks like on the inside. When I view these locally, I use Visual Studio. However, most people just have Notepad, which is what I'll open it with to show you what it looks like. Here's the configuration file for C animals. Real quick, Anything that doesn't have a pound sign in front of it is a functioning part of the mod. And if you change it the wrong way, it can break that part of the mod. Here, for example, we have the black tip shark. Now this mod gives you a whole bunch of sea animals. So this part of your file is only going to configure the black tip shark. A lot of these configuration files have these base descriptions in front of each thing to change. So this right here only changes whether the black tip shark can be tamed or not. And here, the acceptable values are on and off. Here it's off. You could change that to on. I'm gonna stop right here and remind you that any changes you make need to be saved before it can actually take effect in the game. So if that's the only change that I wanted to make and I close this, it's gonna prompt me, do I wanna save it? Of course I do because I've made the changes. We're not gonna close it now. Scrolling down here, there's a whole bunch more settings for each animal, it seems where they spawn, what weather required to spawn, how many stars it can have. A lot of these configuration files can get very detailed in how much control they give you. This one is very detailed. You can have very precise control over when these creatures spawn and where. That's great. Most people will never need to look at these configuration files because they want to download the mod and they want it to work out of the box. Well, almost every mod you download will have a base default configuration file that's been set by the mod author to the optimum settings of what they think it should be. They're just giving you the, the opportunity to change it if you want, which is great. Now we're going to take a very quick look at the Odin Plus QOL or Quality of Life mod. This mod gives you a lot of control over some of the game's most important features, such as storage, chest space, stamina use, basically anything you could think of. This mod can help you adjust it in the game. So here, if we scroll down, you can see that the configuration of this configuration file. <laughs> oh boy. Anyhow. You can see that the layout is very much the same, and the descriptions are usually pretty informative as to what you're going to be changing in this mod. Now, one other thing to look for is these brackets. Anything within these brackets usually means that this is a separated part of the mod, whether it's a different creature, a different weapon, or in this case, a different option to control. Just as another quick example, the Odin Plus Quality of Life mod also lets you add a digital clock at the top of your screen. Here, we see it's categorized as clock, and here are the options. Pretty straightforward. Feel free to pause to get a closer look. Now let's take a quick break and head to the internet. That's right, Valheim on Thunderstore. This is where I get all my mods, and let's take a look at the Sea Animals mod page on Thunderstore. Here is the Thunderstore page for the Sea Animals mod for Valheim. And we get 11 new creatures, ranging from sharks to crocodiles. Also comes with new meats, which I'm guessing are cookable and eatable. This is on the Valheim Thunderstore page. And here's also where I upload all of my mod packs. In my opinion, the Thunderstore is the best and easiest way to get all of your mods and it works seamlessly with your Thunderstore mod manager or R2 mod man. There's even a button here to install your mod directly through your mod manager just from this page. Here's the manual download button. When I press this, let me show you what happens. Here it's opened up a zip file containing all the mod's contents when you initially install it. Inside the folder is the DLL file. This is the actual mod that's gonna go into your plugins folder if you were to manually install it. However, R2 Modman and Thunderstore Mod Manager both do that job for you. There's really no need to use the manual install if you are using one of those two mod managers. However, it's a great option to have if you need quick access to the zip file. Now down here at the bottom, you'll see the change log. This is something that's included in the readme file. 
and can be customized to anything you want. Here, the author has included regular patch notes with every single update. Very informative. But really, the Thunderstore is a bit of the Wild West. Any mod author can include or not include any sort of patch notes, so sometimes it's difficult to find what has been changed or what hasn't been changed. We'll come back to more about the Thunderstore page soon. Now, back to those configuration files. When you want to make adjustments to your configuration files on your server, you would go to BepinX, Config, and here is your list of configuration files on your server. Again, it's the same location, both locally and on your server. So it shouldn't be that hard to find. I hope. Now, some configuration files are held inside folders, but that's mostly just for organization from the mod author themselves. Here is the Sea Animals configuration file. We're gonna right click on it to view and edit. Here, we've got the same exact format that we saw when we were viewing this file locally. If I change these values, it's possible the server may need to be restarted. Not all mods are able to be adjusted live, and some configuration file changes need a full server restart for those changes to take effect. More on that another time. Obviously, I'm using FileZilla in this application. However, if you're using a different FTP program, it may look a little bit different. Likewise, for the browser interface that is provided to you, through your hosting service. But as I say, these methods are basically the same thing. Now that we've taken a look at the configuration files themselves, let's take a look and see where else we can modify those files from in the game and from our Thunderstore Mod Manager or R2 Mod Man. Here, I've got my Mod Manager already pulled up. I'm going to click where it says Config Editor. Pretty straightforward. So here's our list of configuration files that we were just looking at through our Windows Explorer. Now we're looking at them through this UI, and here we can access all of the same features. If I go to the Sea Animals mod and click on it, I can open the file, which I was just looking at, or I can edit the config through this interface. I'm gonna edit config just to show you what it looks like. Those bracketed words we were talking about, here's where they come into play. These are all the sections that you can jump to very easily from this little menu. Now, if I scroll down, here's the black tip sharp. Here I can change the value back to on or off, and here are all the other values I could also change that were in the configuration file. If I changed any of these settings, I would just click save. And then when I launch the game the next time, these settings would take effect. So there's one more way to change a lot of these settings and it's inside the game itself. And that's using a mod called the configuration manager. I prefer the one from Azimut. Let's hop into our game and show you exactly what this mod does. Stay tuned. All right, we're back in the game. Now, let me show you how to bring up that configuration manager. By default, the hotkey is F1, which is at the top left corner of your keyboard. If we push that, we bring up this default list. Now, this is a lot of mods I have here, and your list may not be quite as extensive at this point. Now, let's take a look at that Sea Animals configuration file to see what it looks like using this configuration manager. When I click on it, it pulls up the same type of list, except you can see with this graphic interface, it's been formatted in a really easy way. Here you can change all the same options with just a click of a button. Now that's easy. And as we scroll down, we can see that all those little lines have been turned into fields that we can also adjust and change the number value for. It can't get any easier, people! And here's that Odin Plus quality of life mod I was talking about. You can see here's that clock option right there. Now we've got slidey tabs that can adjust the color for us. You can see that the clock color is actually changing in real time. Now that's service. I won't go through all the other mods I have here, but I think you get the gist of what this configuration manager is capable of doing for you. One other thing I should mention is at the top, there's a search field. You can type in anything like game. Now, it actually brings up each field in all of these configuration files that uses the term tame. Now, if you need to find, oh, where's that? That shark. I know I wanted to make that black tip shark. That's the sea animals. Uh, there it is. Uh, oh, it's right there. Even if I just type in shark, it just comes right up. Very easy to find what you need using that search field when you're in a bit of a hurry. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. I hope you learned something about configuration files and how they work. Stay tuned for the next episode. What was that? Survey the server? What are you here for? <laughs> What do you mean I can't make those adjustments live? <laughs> Some configuration files can't be adjusted live on your server? <laughs>
<gasps> oh, I see. Well, I guess we'll just have to make another video, won't we, Servi? <laughs> but now, it's time to die. <laughs> okay, folks, see you Everything's fine, folks, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.